Welcome back to a new adventure of Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we rescued John and Dutch was really not happy about it. We're about to meet Micah and Dutch somewhere and uh, there is just complete chaos inside of the camp. Everybody is freaking out so um, I'm very curious to see how we are going to continue. So without further ado my name is Sharona, welcome to my channel and let's go! Radio. There we are. Wanted dead or alive? Oh, that's not very nice now. Um, I feel like the loading uh, screen gets sadder the further you progress in the story. I don't know if that's true, but the loading screen I just had it was it was quite sad like the, the the music was sad let me know if i'm right like the further you pro progress in the story what is this no not that that a let oh we have a let oh but oh, why am i putting a waypoint i don't need a waypoint for that come on now arthur thank you Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done You're yet, welcome. Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. Yep. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. <sighs> Morning, Arthur. Stop it. Hello. Hi, Reverend. I was hoping you'd come around the campfire. <laughs> right, we have a letter. Don't let it be Mary. Inspects. Dear sir, you were once very kind to oh, Bo and myself, ah, and it pains me yeah. to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. <laughs> okay. Meet Penelope, right? Do we need a shave? No, I don't think so. Hello, old boy. Rest your bones. Goes I. <laughs> well, too. <laughs> Oh. Hey Arthur. You want to talk? Yes. Hello. There you go. You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. I'm fine. What you been doing? Acting like a fool. How so? <sighs> Hurting and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. <laughs> I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It finally happened. I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you, you are. are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> Easier said than done. We'll see. Everybody keeps on fucking it up. Sorry. Morning, Arthur. 
Good morning. <laughs> Are you drunk? Oh, rocket! Hello. Oh, no. I just want. Oh, okay. cannot. My girl. Alrighty. Okay. BD? Oh, again? Okay. Well. Okay. We're going to collect. What do we have here? Is it is that the widow? One of the widows that we helped hunting? Hello? Okay. Let's go there first, because why not? We gotta we gotta enjoy as much as we can. See nothing. Where are you then? Oh, okay. Um, I got some uh, medicine. Medicina? Ya para qué? Tried. Bye now. Good bear pelt. Thank you. Perfect skunk pelt. Oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> I tried. Come on, girl. I didn't want it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I honestly didn't check the options. Maybe there was a good option. I don't know. Good girl. I didn't see anything. I mean, I didn't look for it. See anything? There. I don't see nothing. Girl. It's always wonderful when you don't see the road, isn't it? There, girl. Yeah. yeah, there's a girl. Ah, uh, you good, girl? <laughs> I should go a little bit slower here. I don't know, but let's let's uh, let's uh, calm down. Yeah. Are we nearly there? I was gonna ask why are we wanted dead or alive but uh yeah ob obviously we rescued john from a prison um so yeah maybe i can pay off a bounty no, i don't think so This is the area of the of the um, <laughs> widow. There's her the, the grave. 
she hunting? How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, mm -hmm. If we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. And how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay. I could feel Calm him really good in my ears. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right. Are we Keep flirting here? Remember to breathe. Need to breathe out. Need to breathe out. Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh. Shoot three bottles. Looks like you need some practice yourself. Why well, doesn't it? Oh. Oh, yes. oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. Oh. No, not that one. I don't want that one. Uh, got away. Where is it? I told you it was fast. Anyway, my turn. Oh. Okay. Well. Come on, come on. Yes! I hit it! I hit it, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> what can well I say? Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. But I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for so a meal? Free. It's the yeah. least I can do. All right then, let's go. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Okay. It's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to Thank catch you. it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just oh, so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. 
Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. My dear he Arthur, so bad. I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. This one, no? Yeah. Just because she insisted. <laughs> Place where it's all the time. Let's go, bro. Thunder. I hate thunder. Um, where are we going? Well, we can go to collect the debt. It's not that far. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Whoa. Oh. I just found out yep. again what stopping is. Coyotes. Honestly, I hate thunder so much. And not just hate. I have to admit that I'm scared of thunder. Yeah. And I really do hate the sound of it. You get goosebumps everywhere. You won't find me outside during a storm. Nope, nope, nobody, nope. No way. <sighs> oh, that sound, especially. I can't, I can't do it. I'm, I'm too... I really hate this. 
Do you think you can get hit by lightning in this game? <sighs> Did we see that? Storm, go away. That's a good girl. Whoa. Thank you. Oh. I really hate it so much. Oh, we have a stranger. Where are you exactly? Oh, pretty close. Did it just... Oh, what do you think? I cannot just go downstairs. Downstairs, down the hill. Yeah. Oh, it's not gone. I thought it was gone, but it's not gone. Find John Weathers. Well, if we sit... Oh. Sir. Hello. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. Don't. This ain't the best time. You dare. So. This ain't Run the away. best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies. Meant to last through the winter. You can take them, just... Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Oh, no. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'll, I'll do what I can for you. Shut the horse. There we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's Don't you run away. It's all right, my darling. You can come out. Oh, crap. I probably should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. 
You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you... I don't know nothing about kindness. That was the right thing to do, I believe. Right. Oh no, we have a stranger. Hold on. Uh, yes. Where is it? Here. Oh, hey, hold on. Yep. They will pay your debt, sir. Oh, sorry, horse. Last one. Oh, we do love that. Where's Rocket? There's Rocket. go to settings it's really annoying yes I'm putting a waypoint for that easy there girl okay <gasps> wrong button oh, what what is happening Can you help? Where are you? Are you in a tree? Oh, here. Hello. Can you, you okay? Help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, <laughs> I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Is it far? No. Well, will you look at that? Oh. Do we need... There he is. Do we need to, um... Study this. It's okay. 
It's okay, you're a nice horse. Nice That's horse. Oh. It's okay. Whoa, boys. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Dan. Let's get you back. Look at the the leg. <laughs> uh, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. You better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. Can I go faster? He talks so nice to the horses. Hello, sir. Look who I have here for you. Was here now? Was it further away? Oh, I thought I was here. Oh, is there? I can see rocket. We ain't far now. I'm gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. Now you're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you want to hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> you're a real gentleman, you know? <laughs> Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. It's a beautiful so, horse. Uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. It's fine. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Well, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. <laughs> My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm going to put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Don't do that, sir. I will take the horse from you. Hello! Right. Now... We're going to fast travel. Just because we can. <laughs> And uh, we're going to Can I go here? I can't go to Shady Bell. I was gonna go there. Let's try. If we get in trouble, we'll get in trouble.
Oh, there should be gold in here. Hey, don't go any further. Oh, stop. Stop it now. Thank you. Is there anybody there? I just played Spider-Man, so I'm still, <laughs> I'm still um, in the controls of Spider-Man. Two, three. I don't know exactly where the gold is located. Is that her? Oh, I see a box. You think the others hurt? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is her that's it. Get yourselves over there! Check that out! Whoever did this, 
There we go. We got the goods. We got the goods. Let's go, Rocket. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're going to... Um... Oh, we need to go the other way. Shoot. Hmm. Maybe we can go around. I think I need to go, um, damn it, by foot. I don't know if anybody is on patrol or something. Doesn't look like it. You, you. Oh. Oh, man. You came! You finally came! I came. Oh, thank you, thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Well, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her! They killed Miss Calhoun! All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They're animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Yes. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> Come on. Hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Right, okay. Let's, let's try and get you a train. Shit. The bow's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up. Or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can. Makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. This is a trap. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully. And he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. You saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. We did. So much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. 
Our families were here for years and What's years. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he? Bo. There he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. Ride on the train a little. You came. <laughs> you came. What last you came. Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, Go on the goddamn train. Just fine. Bo, Arthur's is gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the buy tickets? tickets. Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey, come on. Penelope, get back. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. Hey, there we go. Let's go. Back here without giving you a whipping. We should have done this last time. Get on the train, Go to your woman. Poor fist. Oh, now there's only one of you. Oops. On a train here, look. Hello, future. <sighs> all right, all done. That is quite a family you've got there, son. I know, charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. <sighs> There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah, well, how delightful. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. <laughs> oh, these goddamn cousins. I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'm dealing with this. As usual, I knew you had some debt. Over. 
Look! Is that the driver? He's abandoning us! Oh, Todd, all Obviously. Right, take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out! <laughs> My try. Too fast. Poisons. Out of the way. Out of the way. Good job. I don't want to kill you now. Disgusting black smoke. Ding, 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 ding. Come in. Careful now. Careful. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of yeah. fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed <laughs> all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. Oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. Thank you. That brave white treasure. Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, um... You carry protection on a journey like this? I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! <gasps> Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah. Bye now. Cool. 
The curse. You have an open meal of parcels. Hello. Greetings. Good to see you. Hi. Can I not? Oh dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around, that's all. Anyway, how can I help you? Finally. Hello? Thank you. Letter from Charles. 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 Oh dear, Mr. Kilgore, I very much doubt you read the literal pages, but the story of Boy Calloway's final adventures has been quite a sensation. The Wild West may have been tamed, but the appetite for tales of it has not. The book, of course, is terrible, utter tri tripe. But it's selling like hot cakes, and the best thing about writing about saints is that they are dead. Here are nice, and some are real Wise men once told me the joy. Shush. Especially if they come through to just pay off Shush. the bounty. Thank you again, good lord, and half of the proceeds of this. See you there. Okay. The other one, Charles. Where is he? Oh, mon chéri ami, I made it. I have the sun on my face, you know, sand between my toes. Shush now. And a beautiful vey hind in my bed. The islands are everything I thought they would be and more. You would not believe the light and the colors and the people here. So much brighter and more alive than anything or anyone in Saint Denis. It feels like a world away, which of course it is. You may be surprised, but you are my only true friend from those dark, dreary days. That's so nice. Would be nice to see some new faces through here. I've never painted like I paint now. It is work the likes of which has never been seen. Before I sent this, I shipped some canvas to New York to be sold, perhaps. If you own that little scribble, it may be worth something now. Nice to know that he is doing okay. Can we pay a bounty? Ready for a clean slate? I have a clean slate. Thank you. See you now. Thanks, mister. Okay. With that being said... Oh, are we all the way up here? Hey, uh... Wildlife photography there, that means trouble. That means a lot of trouble. Oh, look at this. Okay, we're going to Ansberg. Can we um, fast travel there by any chance? Is this the wilderness for you? Not yet. What about this? There we go. If we are in the middle of the town, we will go to Micah. Okay, cool. No, we're going to Edith first. See if they're gone. Then Micah, then Adept. Good idea. First things first, that's it. Now, where is she? Uh. 
Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. It won't leave. I, it's a woman. <laughs> I don't know. I said I had the money. She said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll have, I'll have a look. I'll see what I can do. Hey, 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 Jesus. Go down here. It's okay. Oh, sorry, girl. Easy there, girl. Yeah. Shit. Sure. That's enough now, partner. Oh, no. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <laughs> Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son. Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. Let's go. Let's go. Come on in. Okay, girl. I 
And now you leave, ma'am. I'm sorry I had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have that's, left. That's what I'm doing. Help someone who can still be helped. Or help yourself. I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Why we're putting this all in the way? <laughs> Damn it now. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. Come on in. Come on. Hello. Get out of here. Go live someplace else. Start over. Here, take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for... For pride, I've seen it kill too many folk. <sighs> Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Right, Micah, where are you? Beat your ass. No, I'm not. <laughs> was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. Micah! Okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. Yeah, and I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show <laughs> up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. <laughs> we don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the wheat go. Move on, get our money, and start Micah! Over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us pinned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid it revenge, Mr. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> oh, those two, eh? Those two. Come oh. on. So, what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason 
that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't bribe, Dutch. We're wanted men. Dead or alive. So why did you go just wanted to remind you. My wishes. I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. And he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Nope, nope, nope. I can see this going all wrong. Bloody fucking Micah betraying us. Oh, the bastard. Oh, boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Micah. Micah, Micah the bastard. I've said it since the mo the first moment I saw him. The bastard. He's a bastard. Oh. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. I'm Bring here. <laughs> him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. <laughs> what do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. You are crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny word. No, don't let me sure, slowly. Criminals grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no <gasps> such thing. You kill. <laughs> I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob. And you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. Oh, cool blood! <laughs> Hold on a second, hold on a second. What did you think was gonna happen, Dutch? Huh? Ah. Idiots. Let's 
stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Dutch, I have just about Come enough. On, men are all over the place. Follow me and stay close. I cannot. We had enough feet on us before. Now we're going to be torched. This is the only way you'll see. Trust me. Trust you. I <laughs> don't trust you no more, Dutch. Thank you. We got more up ahead. Clear us some space. You don't mess with the wall. You said this wasn't a revenge mission. Ah. It wasn't. We got what we came for. Both papers. Come on, through here. Finally put that bastard cornwall out of business. Put that up to this. Man, I just follow one. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Touch your work in the way. More up top here. Gun them down. Your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. No saddle. All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right. We all know I'm not good at driving or riding a horse and shooting at the same time. <laughs> Need to touch his horse. It's fine. It's oh no, not the trees. <laughs> where are they? Where are they? Where are they? There. Guys, guys. <laughs> help me! Help! Honestly, you guys enjoy this. You, um, I cannot do this. Look out, fellas. They're still coming. Shoot the bastard. Kill that bastard. Look like we lost. Now, baby. No, no, I don't like that. <laughs> Whoa. We all okay? Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. 
We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. Black Lung, are you crazy? Hey! Black Lung? Bastard, bastard, I'm gonna, oh, the mic Mica, oh Mica, oh Mica. I will not shed a single tear when you get shot. Just for you to know. I'm so cruel. <laughs> okay. Who's that? Swanson needs to speak to me. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Don't care. <laughs> you have fun there. There, girl. <laughs> Dutch and Micah are two wonderful creatures. They make me so angry. Here we are. What are you wearing? Hey, Karen. My horse. Hey, Sadie. Hi. Hi, ah, Arthur. <laughs> <coughs> Reverend, you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know. Rage These unleashed? are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt. I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of... Commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion. One more than we have already. One whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. <laughs> Not really. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Oh. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we um, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. 
Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. The men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this oh, will help Oh, you anything. want me to? Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us. About adding an army to the list. Going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. Ah! <laughs> what will be, will be. Anyway, son, <laughs> tell me about this Colonel uh, Favors. He's a vile Dutch. man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. <laughs> noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden the outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. No, thank you. I'm good. There's Peta. Ow! These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. Okay. All right, let's head out. Oh yeah, of course, I'm the one, I'm the one that is sick, but I'm the one doing it, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you will do nothing. It's fine. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, 
float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Good luck. Thank you. There you go. So I'm the only one that's doing this or what? I need to smoke. How am I going to do this alone? confused we need to round them up i'll get these four arthur Can catch you around one of the three horses
There you go. You fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't oh. want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur will... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. It's... I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. But I honestly, what will you want me to do? I. What was that? Wrong one. Dutch, Dutch is going absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. He's gonna get us in big trouble. Very big trouble. Oh, we still have Micah. <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> I can get so angry with, with my car. <laughs> okay. What do we have here? Oh, okay. Okay, we have a lot of things to do. Uh, we are right in front of Micah, so we are gonna go to Micah first. And then... Um, we'll see if that was a good idea or not. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 